Hello everyone and welcome to my overview video for Star Ocean First Departure Remaster. I'd like to thank Square Enix for providing a copy of the game to me, really much appreciated. I have played this game on PSP around 10 years ago, I never got to finish it because I lost my save data, but I'm really happy to finally I, to have a chance to play it again because I remember really loving the story. Anyway, uh, it's just the PSP game, a remastered version of the PSP game. You can pick portrait based on the classic game or the remaster. And you can also choose between Japanese and English voice acting, which is really cool. That's the first thing I liked. And you see it kind of like fan the classic Final Fantasies. You can like change the window color of your menus. Battling is just your typical action RPG style, like other Star Ocean games, if you're familiar with them. You pick battles, you gain XP, and when you level up, you gain stats, and you also gain SP, which you use to level up skills. You have to buy the skills from shops, and then use SP to learn them. And uh, in battle you can, you know, really cool system, it makes up for a really interesting, like, you have to make every character advance on each skill based what you like. You can, oh, we're, we're almost dying here, but you can command your, your other party members to do different things. If you press circle and press up and down you can change to control. If you press triangle you can change their tactics whether to go all out or for example just focus on healing protect your friends and so on which is cool. And we're just dead. I'm just getting used to the fights right now. We can also escape from battle if you find yourself in a pinch like I am. It's just your classic uh, RPG game style. You can use wait, items. We can revive someone. Single use items and we have a resurrection elixir. We can revive. Yeah. I can't show much of the story yet, but... I'm, I'm just gonna tell you that the, the story is really awesome, especially for someone who likes to f fanatize about store, uh, space exploration, what could be out there, you know. But yeah, you have your typical random encounters like other RPG fight. games. I'm really excited to play this again, because I remember really, really enjoying the game, but I got... I don't remember, I either say lost my save data or I got stuck somewhere and I couldn't advance. And then other stuff came up in life and I couldn't get back to finishing it. Well, I'd say that's worth 10 out of 10. But I'm really loving the game again and I will be playing through it on stream as well. I'm busy with other stuff but as soon as I'm done with those, I'm gonna stream and go through the game on stream. For now I just wanna do an overview. Because I'm really hyped about it and I also like to thank Square Enix again for, for providing the game. If you're a classic RPG fan, especially action RPG, and you're familiar with like the Tales series and Final Fantasy and Star Ocean, the other Star Oceans itself, really recommend picking this up. It's pretty cool where you, when there is one enemy, you both you take both sides of the enemy and smash them to hell. I can feel the power flowing. Gain the level and you gain skill points as well. Anyways, I'm just gonna end it here. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll be sure to stream this 
when I get the chance and go through the game. So if you want, you can feel free to join. And thanks to Square Enix again, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.